Hey everyone, don't mind the noise in the back, it is just laundry going on. But I have another video for you and it is another anime video. And um, this is taking place, taking over of my October, what I'm currently watching uh, video. I was supposed to do it for the month of September but I was in Korea um, towards, I was preparing to go to Korea at the end of September that I didn't have time to film and get things down and mostly what I was watching was anime anyway so this is taking over my October favorites because the first half of October I was in Korea and I was traveling so this is uh, once I, as soon as I got back I finally got the chance to sit down and watch some anime and catch up and currently what um, this is not sponsored anyway um, but I watch all my anime on Crunchyroll Crunchyroll if you're watching this I love you, sponsor me maybe? <laughs> um, but right now they are doing, as of recording this video, they are doing this Passport to Japan um, uh, contest where you watch the first episodes of eight new, um, eight new brand new seasons of um, a certain anime and some of them are very very new and some of them are returning, well I think one of them is a returning uh, anime. but. Um, they gave you eight different um, animes that you should try, um, that people can watch, and um, once you watch the first episode, you can go ahead. You're automatically entered into their contest that wins. You, the winners get um, a pair of tickets to go to Japan. And um, I was, um, yeah, cool. The con like I was looking for some anime to watch anyway, and I was like, why not? And I need some new. Um, I'm trying to be more open to like different things in anime so I'm here to give you a roundup first impression type video not necessarily a review but just my thoughts on the animes that were selected for this um, for this uh, contest and it's all for the fall winter season of anime so these um, most of it all have released within the same time period of each other and um, so most of it will be listed here Somewhere you're gonna see all eight listed right here somewhere if not it's in the description box and I'm gonna go through it and um, so before I go on the list of um, anime you can watch or that you're able to watch for this is Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma there's the Ancient Magus Bride Magus 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 Bride um, there's Recovery of the of an MMO junkie, there is Junie Tyson, Zodiac Wars, Urahara, Black Clover, there's also Kino's Journey, Dai's Irei, Irei, and that's pretty much, yeah, those are the eight that are here. And um, in this roundup, I'm going to be talking about my most top favorites to things that aren't necessarily my kind of cup of tea, but I still enjoy the anime regardless. So first off, you already know I talked about it in my lap. It was my first anime review here on my channel. This is Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma Season 3 or Plate 3. Just released right when I got to Korea and unfortunately not all of Crunchyroll is available in Korea. So I couldn't watch Food Wars right when it aired. So this was the opportunity for me to catch up and I have not watched the fourth episode that is out yet, but I have caught up almost all the way. And again, this is one of my favorite animes thus far this year and um, I'm enjoying the season so far and it picks up right from where, um, excuse me, um, where season, season two ended. And um, I really enjoyed it. Go ahead and look at my review video for seasons one and two. It is going to be located in the description box below. And check out my review and my thoughts. Um, Shoku Food Wars for season three is going to have its own separate review video. So be on the lookout for when that comes out after the season is over because we're still somewhat in the beginning stages of the season. And um, I am enjoying it so far. The stories, um, it like it has its moments where you know, it, of action plus funny, and which I really enjoyed. And it is my favorite. Like I said, I'm really biased towards 
um, Food Wars, and so I was super excited to uh, finally check out season three through this um, Passport to Japan. And um, yeah, so when the season is over, expect a review video to come out on my channel sometime after that. But the next anime that I really, really want to talk about that I really, really enjoyed and it is probably going to be my new favorite for, it's going to be one of my top favorites of 2017 of all the anime that I have watched thus far. It is The Ancient Magus Bride and I've been seeing like, I follow uh, Courage Roll on Twitter and for a while I've been seeing a lot about The Ancient Magus Bride and I was like, what is this anime about? And I never got in the opportunity until now to finally sit down and check it out. And I binged, as soon as I started episode one, I binged watched everything, including the prequel that is available on Crunchyroll 2. And I'm in love with this anime. And I think the animation is amazing. The story is very interesting. And um, like I said, I, I literally just found out about it through Crunchyroll like months ago and I was like, what is this about? And I remember seeing it, I think it was the prequel that came to US theaters at one point where they premiered it and then this happened where the actual anime is out now and so I really, 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 really like this anime a lot. Um, it's most likely going to get its own review video once I finish the anime. I really want to get into the manga. so. We'll, we'll see what happens from here on out. I have caught up to the most episodes and I believe tomorrow the new episode drops for um, the next or the next episode drops as of recording for this. So super excited, really recommend it. Um, I, I should say no spoilers are gonna be in this video. I don't want to give away the plot. Um, I will put the um, banner or like the the cover, what the poster type image for the Ancient Magus Bride right here, so you can see. Check it out. It is a very interesting story. Um, the imagine, uh, the animation, not imagination. Animation for it is wonderful, and I was literally blown away. And it has this very, it, it is like a mystical fairy tale ish. Not fairy, t not fairy tale the anime, not fairy tale the anime. No, 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 no. It has this mystical fantasy aspect to it, and if you're really into that type of like magic and all of that, if you're really into that, and you're into the whole, they have a very European vibe because it is set in London. Um, uh, if you're into that type of scenery and into like the, that type of genre of anime, I definitely, definitely recommend Ancient Magus Bride. I love it. I'm hooked onto it. Just it, it has its fair balance of seriousness and comedic sides. Which, oh, I can't like. I know I'm really talking about this, and I said I wouldn't get spoilers. I'm contradicting myself here, but really, I highly recommend it. This is my probably. After Food Wars, my top favorite out of the eight that um, that was that is available for this. So before I go into talking more about this, we have other um, other anime to talk about in this roundup. The next one that I really enjoyed was Recovery of an MMO Junkie, and at first I was very skeptical to watch it just because it is an anime about an MMO RPG game. And it was like, it's gonna be one of those games, one of those simulation games. How is this gonna work? And I mean, there have been a fair amount of um, MMO type anime out there. Some have been hits, some have been misses. And um, and so I was a little skeptical about it, but as I kept watching, I couldn't help but keep watching more of the episodes that were available and the story is very sweet and um, the way how it's drawn and animated is a, a style that I particularly like and um, I have watched up until the most current episode except for I think episode 4 just released sometime this week and I haven't had a chance to catch up 
but um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's another uh, favorite that I really liked. And uh, again, if you're into that type of fantasy MMO type anime, definitely check it out. It is very cute. Um, I can see why more... The, uh, I'll explain it more towards the end of the video, but I can see a lot more uh, female otaku's drawing closer to it because it is more of that, like, more of a cute type of anime. But, I mean, I think everybody, no matter how you identify, I think you're going to really enjoy this because it has that good balance between it. And seeing the story and how this the main character progresses and how she's going to go through all of these things, you're going to... It, it's relatable because I think everybody at one point has felt that way and you'll understand what I'm talking about when uh, you actually watch the anime itself because definitely how the main character has been through at least in terms of like a little spoiler in terms of like a relationship and you know wanting to talk to somebody and um, you know all of that slight spoiler there a oh, major spoiler actually oh sorry guys I don't know um uh, but I won't tell you who the characters are or anything if you're just it's it's a very relatable story no matter what age you are how you identify I think you'll really enjoy this um enjoy this uh, anime a lot sorry for the spoiler guys didn't mean to but again just it's another one that I really enjoyed out of this and I really like this. Yes, I have notes because I need to keep track of, you know, what I need to say. But the next anime was an unexpected one that I did not think I would like or get myself into as much as I thought I would, which is Junie Tyson, which is Junie Tyson Zodiac Wars, and at first from the get-go, watching the very first few minutes of the anime, I was like, do, do I want to watch this? Like, it is not usually the type of um, anime that I watch. It is a lot darker out of, excuse me, um, it is one of the darker um, animes on the list for Passport to Japan, um, for Country Roll, and it is really not suited for young young audiences i'll say that in terms of a little spoiler um it is very much suited for mature audiences um if you can't handle even animated blood i would not recommend just because it is very graphic in that sense but um that is my only warning for you guys who are watching this video Definitely do not watch it at night if you're if you have a vivid imagination and you know you you go to bed right after. It's not one of those animes where you, you can do that um, if you're not into that. But very interesting plot. It deals with the zodiac and um, and twelve people and without spoiling it too much, it it is. Um, basically a survival of the fittest type of thing. If you're into those kinds of anime, really great action. Animation is amazing. I really enjoyed it. Even though it is not something that I would normally watch, it sunk its teeth into me and it was like, you know, you're gonna continue watching this. And I know episode four is out as of recording this and I will get to it and start watching, but I think what's going to happen is that once the anime is over, I will give a review most likely about this anime just because it was the unexpected one that I didn't think I would like but ended up liking a lot out of this um, anime roundup that was available. So yeah, if you're into that type of stuff, if you're, if you're into action and, and a lot of more graphic stuff, definitely check out Junie Tyson. If you're not really into that, uh, I, I suggest no, just because it, it, it is a pretty crazy and messed up anime. Just saying, putting that out there. 
The next one um, that I really liked as well was Urahara, and it is a very cute anime. Very, very cute. And um, the way how it's drawn, the style of it is very cute. Um, I only watched the first episode. Um, I haven't continued watching the rest. Um, it is going to be one of those animes that I think I'm gonna just wait until the whole season is completed. That way I can binge in one go. Um, and I can put it off just a little bit, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is a very cute, I love the colors of the anime that they use. Um, the main characters, the girls are very cute and um, it's a pretty, pretty, um, pretty awesome anime, not gonna lie. And um, it is straight up girl power and just, I'm all here for it. And it is very cute, a lot of action too, surprisingly. From, even from the first episode and so I'm excited to see how the plot's going to uh, progress and see what happens next but like I said it's gonna be one of those animes where I'm gonna just wait until the full season is done watch it in one go and then I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to know let me know in the comments if you want me to do an anime review of it because I will not mind it is something that I'm gonna finish because I'm one of those types of people who once you start something I have to finish it so I am going to finish um, Urahara, but super cute. If you're into really cute um, types of anime like this, definitely uh, watch it. And the next one that I really liked, we're getting down to the list at this point, is Black Clover. Now when I went to San Diego Comic Con, um, I did stop by the fun, uh, not the Funimation, Funimation? No. Uh, the Crunchyroll booth that was there with small booth. and. When they were giving out freebies, they did give away like these small black clover, um, like postcards or yeah, postcards. And I, it's somewhere stored in my room already. Can't find it at this point, but I did get one. And so this is like my first exposure to black clover. And then afterwards, after San Diego Comic Con and Crunchyroll Expo came around, started seeing more and more black clover. And um, Crunchyroll really pushed for black clover. And so it's not like I'm new-ish. I still don't know. I still didn't know the story going into the anime um, or the manga. If um, so, yeah, I didn't really know much about it except for that expo type of exposure. And so I was like, okay, you know what? I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. Let's go ahead and give it a chance. And. It is another anime that I actually will be keeping up with. I'm very interested in the plot. Um, again, one of those magic fantasy type of dramas. Uh, very shonen and um, I have watched all of the available episodes. Um, my only, only, only little thing I don't like is one of the characters. His name is Asta. I do not like his voice. <laughs> um, that is the only little thing that I don't like, especially when he yells. For those who have watched the anime, you kind of know, but I know that is part of his personality. So I've kind of learned to accept it already and that's how just how the character is. He's a very loud character. That is just, nah. <laughs> if part of me is like, whenever he starts yelling, I have to turn down the volume because it's like, oh, my headphones, yeah, okay. Asta, you're yelling a little bit too much, but that is um, my only thing, little thing that I didn't like about the anime. Other than that, the story, very interesting. Um, again, if you're into like the magic fantasy type of anime, this one, Shonen, it is definitely for you. And um, I'm looking forward to finishing the season once the season is over. And so the last two animes going on, um, now we're towards the end, and the last two, these, technically I love them all, just the last two is like, I don't know if I'm, I'm on the fence of whether I want to continue it or not. Um, I, I will probably eventually continue it, but just so I know how the story progresses, but I'm, I just don't know how to feel about it. The first of the two is Kino's, uh, Journey, um. The animation is pretty, I'm not gonna lie. The story is very interesting. Um, again, it's not for younger audiences. I will say it is for a more mature audience because there is some 
blood involved and if you're not into that I wouldn't su I highly suggest not watching that I'm okay with it I mean I've seen a lot worse um, Junior Tyson is probably just as bloody as Kino's journey and I've only watched the first episode I'm unsure again it's one of gonna be one of those animes where I'm gonna wait for the whole season to pan out and then binge in one go just to really give my full thoughts it, it could, it's one of those animes that didn't really capture my interest as much I mean it was interesting still like you know the like the first episode I think I just need to watch the second episode and continue to keep watching to give my full judgment about it because I've only watched the first episode um, but, I don't know, I couldn't really, it wasn't as interesting as the other ones, but I will say that the animation is, again, pretty, how everything is drawn out is really cool. Um, in terms of plot, I'll have to see, I'm on the fence about it, just because I didn't get to watch, if, for those who are watching this, you know, let me know how you feel about Kino's journey and just your thoughts on it. Because, you know, the more I watch this anime, it, it'll probably most likely change throughout. And my opinion will change. It's just, after the first episode, I wasn't that impressed and hooked onto it compared to the others that were on it. And it goes for this next anime, which I'll talk about very soon. It is just not something that I gravitate to in terms of anime, but it was very interesting like, hey, there is a new anime and you know what, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. It's just going to be put on the back burner for now. So I can't really give my full thoughts on it. Um, we'll see once the season wraps up and if I really feel like doing an anime review for it. I will do some sort of thing and let look out on social media because I will most likely be updating throughout this and seeing what happens. So the last one, uh, the last anime is Dai's Ire, 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 don't know how to pronounce it properly and my bad if I'm butchering it. Um, again, it was an anime that's just not my cup of tea. Um, it's not bad, it's just not a series that... I personally would go to first and um, sorry had to do something again um, the last anime I forgot what I was talking about at this point what was I talking about um again Daisy Day it's not my cup of tea it it's not a bad series I think somebody who is into that kind of stuff will definitely enjoy it it's just not a genre or type of aspect that or type of thing that I see myself really watching even though I've probably watched something that was very similar to it I just it's a very dark anime I'll say that is very dark um it's just not something I can see myself investing a lot of time in it's gonna be again like Kino's journey where I'm probably gonna just wait till the season pans out and then continue watching it um like I said, it's not a bad anime it's just not my particular preference and um maybe it's gonna be i have to watch more episodes just to, to get into it because the very first episode leaves a very big impression on you and you're just like whoa that happened that that just happened and um, and I know the story is going to be probably switching in the second episode and from then on out that will lead to the events back prior to the first episode ish something like that that's what I'm guessing but it's still just mm, eh. I don't know I can't necessarily you know say that I'm fully invested in it the interest is slightly there We'll just have to see how that one goes, but it's not a bad anime. And again, if you're into uh, it's, a lot of the anime that is featured here, deals a lot with fantasy, magic stuff. Except for I want to say Food Wars, because Food Wars is more like more more onto like 
If you get what I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I can't put it into words, but a lot of them deal with like fantasy, magical stuff, and all of that. And so, whereas Food Wars is a little bit more real, you know, like you could, there, there, the chances of that happening in real life are more likely than any of the other ones that have happened. It, there, that if you get what I mean. So, yeah, Dicey Day. Nah, we have to see. I'm just. It's a, it's a toss up at this point. So, um, I just want to give you some overall thoughts about this roundup. All the anime that was listed for this, it was a great selection. I think that there is an anime that is out there for everybody. I think if you're into shonen, slice of life, stuff like that, mat, fantasy, a little bit of romance and all of that, I think you'll, you'll find um, and like comedy as well. Um, I think you're gonna find an anime within the eight, eight that you'll really, really enjoy. I, like I said, it, um, it is there is an anime for somebody out there through the eight, and um, the top. I've like honestly, I've I was actually really enjoying a lot of them, even though there's some of them that were just not my particularly my taste in terms of anime. It, it was still not bad, and um, again, my super top favorites have to be the Inch Magus Bride, besides Food Wars, because Food Wars, you know, I'm already biased. biased. Besides Food Wars, the ones I'm really into is the Inch Magus Bride, Recovery of an MMO Junkie, and Junie Tyson. Um, the others are next, and how I listed them, and by no means it's not a rating, like whether it's good or bad. All of them I liked. I, like, I was thoroughly impressed. Some of them is just not my cup of tea. And I just couldn't get myself into it. We'll see how it goes. And I'm gonna still finish them and see how it is and give a further review. I know that's sounding a little contradictory and confusing, my bad. But you get what I mean. And some of them were just, we'll see, we'll see. But most of them, regardless of that, I really still highly recommend if you're into those types of anime or whatever, definitely check them out. All eight are worth checking out. Um, like I said, there is an anime for somebody within the eight in here that are listed. This is this is a great selection of anime, and um, again, I highly recommend. Uh, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this anime roundup. I haven't done a long video like this. I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be super long, but I'm very very excited to do this and I'm very excited to you know finish some of these animes and give you guys reviews and let me know out of the eight that have uh, I talked about in this anime roundup which ones are you currently watching which ones are you interested in watching now that I've talked about a little bit of it and you've seen at least the poster for the anime and um, if you are watching some of these animes what are your thoughts on them and out of the eight, which one's like your most favorite? I think I've said that already. I'm not too sure. This is going very unscripted at this point. I, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you talk, check out these animes. If you are, let me know so I have somebody to talk to, um, talk to about this anime because I, I don't have a lot of friends who watch a lot of anime. Um, I mean, I have friends. It's just they're anime is not their thing and so there isn't much people who like can really discuss about anime and talk about anime so yeah if you are watching or you're just a big fan of anime let me know in the comments and let's talk some anime and so yeah um here's my little otaku moment and i shall see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching hey hey hit that subscribe button join the jbaby family also, hit that bell for notifications for every time I update and upload a video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and do all that good stuff. I shall see you in the next one. And as always, resin grand changes. Bye, yum!